Okay, here we're going to identify the conic that's given by the polar equation, r equals 5 divided by 10 minus 15 times sine theta. To do that, to determine what type of, of conic section it is, we'll first find the eccentricity, and using the eccentricity we can find the directrix. So this is almost in the form r equals e times p divided by 1 minus e times sine theta. So to put our equation in that form, what we'll do is we'll factor the 10 out of the denominator. Well, 10 multiplied by negative 15 over 10 would give us negative 15. And we can reduce 5 over 10 will be 1 half. We can just put that in the numerator. Then we have 1 minus, well, 15 over 10 will be 3 halves times sine theta. So already we get that our eccentricity here our eccentricity is going to equal 3 halves, and since that's greater than 1, we know that we have a hyperbola. And we want the numerator to be in the form e times p. So e times p, we want that to equal the numerator, which is 1 half. Well, again, we know that e is equal to 3 halves. So to solve for p, we can just simply multiply both sides by 2 thirds. So we'll have that p equals one-third. And for this type of polar equation, we know that the directrix will be p units below and parallel to the x-axis. So there's our x-axis. We go p units down, which would be one-third units down. It's going to be parallel to the x-axis. That's going to be the directrix d. Well, since we're one-third units down and we have a horizontal line, the directrix would have an equation y equals negative one-third.